Hello again and welcome back to Dead Space 3. So in our last video, we finally met up with Ellie and the others. However, we also met up with Danik and his goons trying to kill us. So we're going to have to meet up at the warehouse. Not to mention, I got to change my weapon because I really don't like the way it looks or how it acts. So let's just do this and see if we can try to get through this without getting killed or something like that. But before we get started, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment below. As well as my goal is to reach 100 subscribers. So with that out of the way, let's begin. So now we're still here in this area. With the drill over there, I believe. As well as the giant hole. So let's go see what we can find. Or what we can do. And just to be sure that we've also encountered the giant necromorphs over there, frozen, the Nexus. And there's supposed to be something over there, but I don't think that's there. And let me turn this on so we can open this gate here. There we go. Yes, one way to find out. And just to be sure, this is one big hole. Let's just check around before we do anything else. Oh, this thing is already on. Let me just change my weapon. And it is pretty loud. I can't hear the noise going on in the background. Let me just place it with the shotgun. There we go. All right, let's see if we can do this. So what we have to do is try to unlock the thing. And hopefully this is gonna release the drill. See what I mean? Alright, sorry about that. So you're fighting against a drill. I don't know if it's a boss, but all you have to do is freeze it, stace it or whatever, and just shoot it in the center, right there in the light. Keep doing that three times and you've already defeated it or stop it. Better get out of the way. One. All hands. Clear the deck. 
Looks like a giant disco light. Great. Let's try this again. Now we got these slashers. I didn't have time to say. Nope, I can't make it. I'm gonna have to silence this for a moment. That wasn't good. You know when we do this. I don't have time for this. And there we go. We defeated the boss. The giant drill that's on the loose. I don't think it's a boss, but... Yeah, it's already done. Okay, Ellie. We're headed to the warehouse now. Is everything okay? Oh, yeah. Between this planet trying to kill us, your boyfriend hating me, this has been a wonderful trip so Ross, far. Not usually like this. I don't know why. He... Just let us fight it out, okay? One of us will win eventually. Did you find the experiment? Yes. And? You'll just have to see it. Oh, good. Right, let's just go. Fine, Ellie and the others. Hold on. Alright, just to be sure. Going up. All clear for now. Eventually something's gonna happen. There are dead bodies here and there. I'm guessing something's gonna affect them. And there's a spot. Let's just hope there's useful things from here on. Oh, and we found this. I got plenty of stasis, so I'm going to have to get rid of them when I have a chance. Did 
This must be the place. What the hell is this thing? It's bad. That's what it is. Beautiful, isn't it? The scientists called it the Nexus. They thought these bigger specimens acted as conduits for the machine's control signal, broadcasting it to the smaller forms. And that helps us how? Because I think they found the machine by tracking the signal upstream through nerve clusters inside the creature. Oh, wait. We need to get inside that thing? Yes. This is such a wonderful opportunity. Wonderful opportunity. The son of a bitch is not How do we get in? The scientists used heat exchanges. Let me try to ignite them. No, no good. There's probably a furnace on the roof. If I can find it, I can get it running again. Isaac, be careful up there, all right? Yeah, then don't hurt yourself. <laughs> So now we're going to have to turn on the system, reactivate the heat system, like I know that. So let's head down here, just to see if we can heat this thing up. Furnace room. Now this. Dr. Earl Serrano. The Nexus experiment is, well, it's incredible. We have discovered two nearly pristine specimens and crews are working around the clock to uncover them. We're learning so much about how these necromorphs communicated. The whole species seems to have been connected by some telepathic signal from the lowliest foot soldier to the mightiest specimen. But where is the signal coming from? That is what I intend to find out. Thank you for giving me that information. So, like I said, that thing over there is the Nexus, even though I spoiled it. So, let's just see if we can turn on something. Oh, and a new suit is available. We're not going to use it just yet. Let's just check around here. Let's see. Just the same upgrades. Going up. Just taking my sweet time once again. Yeah, so I've been eating a pork chop today, so sorry for not being talkative and turning off the commentary once in a while. Plus my hand was getting a bit slippery. Let's see. So we need to get over here. Door's open, but I'm I found the generator for the furnace. Now I just gotta get to the damn thing. Understood. So, like I was saying, the door is open. I could just get through in, through in here, but unfortunately I can't because I'm too big. So, there's a battery right there on the other side inside. We're just gonna have to bring the battery in. There it is. And we got company. Well, not that many company. Come on, I don't have time for this. Where is it coming from? There you are. Uh, 
Let me just throw this all the all the way here. So the head back up there, there's a ladder. Climb up to it and you'll find a entrance inside. I'll come for that later, just give me a second. Alright. Caution, high wind. Thanks for letting me know. More company. You know, the shotgun is pretty strong. Too strong, actually. I think I already said that in my last video. Well, you get my point. And there's the ladder from the inside. Uh, let me get that. Let's just place that battery inside and turn on this. There we go. Now let's see. Mm, too much minus with the plus. Two plus or something. Is on. How's it looking from now? Let's head back to see if we can cook this thing up. More things. Ooh. Something hit me, I can't s Oh, there. I didn't see it. And let me place you... here. Now we can go, because I'm sure more of these things are going to pop out any second. Isaac, are you all right? Great. Hey, thanks for putting up with Robert. You know, he's not been himself. Uh, Norton just thinks I'm trouble in a couple of ways. But you need me for the mission, and that's why I'm here. That plus, well, frankly, I hope... Ellie, is that Isaac? Great. Great. You two having a nice little chat? Look, he just called to say he got the furnace going. He's on his way back now. Isaac, I'll see you soon. Right. And here we go with this BS with Norton and me. Let's try to... I'm going to go for the suit now. Change my suit. No, that's not it. There it is, the archaeologist suit. All right, let's do this. Taking my time like always. And there I am, Pref Professor Isaac Clark. Not enough. Got plenty in the armor. Let 
I'll do some of this. That's good for now. Now let's see if we can do this. Come on, hurry up. There we go. The heat exchangers are powered up now, but the specimen isn't thawing. Is there something wrong with the mechanism? Yeah, I think it's frozen shut. I may be able to work it free by adjusting the pressure in the pipes. Hang on. So now that you got the pressure thing already done, now this thing here, turn it on and you'll see. Alright, so what you're going to have to do is pull the valves on these pressures to activate the heat. Pretty simple. Of course, this runs out of time, so you can just do it anytime you want, repeatedly. Just follow the light, like this, four, three, one, and so on until it's done. And this goes up. And if it doesn't go on time, you're going to have to start over. One more. Now you can turn it on. Whoa! I think that did it! Yes! The entire temperature is rising! And I have more good news! What is it? Come up to the observation booth. I'll explain it all the way. The necromorphs are conduits for the marker's signals. Well, the researchers built a sensor to track that signal upstream to find the machine. So where's the sensor? Probably destroyed. But I did find the blueprints to make a new one. I think I know where this is going. So it looks like we're going to have to make a... What I believe Santos is talking about is a gun to sense the Nexus. I wasn't actually paying attention because my little buddy was here. Let's see. Over here. This is the blueprint I was telling you about. I don't see any of the parts necessary to make this sensor, but there's another research warehouse at the other end of the camp. Here's a schematic. What do you think? Looks like they modified a telemetry spike. I have no idea how it works, but yeah. I think I can build it with the right parts. Where's the other warehouse? I'll put the coordinates in your rig. It is most likely to be locked down tight. Here. I found these research passcodes when we arrived. They got us into this warehouse. Maybe they will work for the other buildings as well. Well, we'll find out. Back soon. together enough of this research wait why are you still here i'll be fine right so we're gonna have to collect some parts to make this gun the probe gun thanks to santos i finally got the blueprints for it and basically i don't see either ellie carver or norton around so let's just find what we're supposed to do we're supposed to um, let's just find those parts what I'm trying to say and forgive me for not being energetic or talkative because like I said I was eating a pork chop okay, okay geniuses here's a question let's say the stupid experiment works and you find the machine then what do you guys even have a clue about turning it off well Admiral Gray is referred to a codex she said it was the key to controlling the machine. Yes. 
I've been able to decrypt several of Dr. Serrano's logs, and he references someone named Rosetta as being instrumental in forging this key. Are you listening to yourselves? You don't know any more about this bullshit than I do. If I can find the parts to make a sensor, we can find the machine. Then we can figure out this codex business. Uh, unbelievable. <laughs> And that's why nobody pays any attention to you, Norton. The fact that nobody actually likes you nowadays, or whatever, I'm not sure. Or a feud between me. But one way or another, we're gonna end this. And still no sign of those things. I probably tried to gave that away. As a surprise. Who knows? So head back to the area where you find the frozen nexus. And there's a door over there that we didn't go through in the last video. What the? What the hell is that about? Some sort of sacrifice, I believe. Yeah, you know what? Thanks for wasting your time. I'm taking your stuff. Just another cult. Alright, let's move on. And there's my other, other, other little buddy. Excuse me. Now that was weird. We'll come to another place later. Actually, hold on. Yeah, I have too many of those stasis, so let me get rid of the sum of them. Alright, let's see what we can do. And how much you got for me. Nothing. Let's see, rates. Damage, never mind. See if I can. There we go. Not much ammo. But let me get rid of a few things here and there. Mm. Oh, I got an achievement. E. EMT, that's how it's pronounced. I'm just gonna save you for later. I was just making sure if I was doing it right. Well, I didn't get much ammo, but that's good for now. Oh, and my other buddy's back. Let's see what you got for me. Hmm, not that many. Oh well, let's just move out of here. I don't know what's the purpose of trying to kill yourself if I'm gonna destroy your body and reincarnate yourselves as necromorphs or whatever. This is some sort of infection stuff. Another one of these zombie tropes, as a matter of fact. I keep comparing that to any zombie apocalypse, even though Dead Space is very different. Space zombies. So this is the location I'm talking about. Let's go in here and see what we can find. Or find parts for the thing we're gonna do. Uh-oh. S 
Something tells me that this isn't going to end well. And this is the tram service, another one. Another text log. Mm-hmm. That's weird. It was... It was very sunny. I'm not sure. And this is the same footprints we found. I wonder what they are. No, oh, it's those stalkers. That's nice for them to come back. Before we go any further, let's just turn around. And you will find yet another location similar to the other two we've been before. Like I said, this is... Areas getting very repetitive with their designs, level designs, actually. Ooh, hold up. But this is a perfect spot to place my little buddy. Hope something good he is there for him to find, what I'm trying to say. Mm, nothing. Now we can move on. Hopefully those stalkers won't be too much of a hassle. You don't got nothing, okay, so never mind. And there they are. I can hear them. What? Wait a minute. What the hell happened to these guys? Why are they walking like that when they charge right at me? Oh, man. Well, I wasn't kidding around when it was going to be no hassle. But this is pathetic. The one from the last game was more intimidating. They just charge right up you as fast. Instead, here is just waddling. Well, basically, there is rumor that he, that the Weezer from the first game makes a return, but fortunately, it's only for the. Hold up. Fortunately, that's for the co-op. Alright, let's just see if I can find more parts. I'm talking too much. There we go. You see how they run when they attack me? see anything useful in that part yet. Oh, there it is. A Unitologist artifact. I don't know if I found one of them yet. I'm not sure, but whatever. I don't read that much. That's why I have this to pause for you to read.
What's going on here? Containment has become a necessity. It is now up to us to make the ultimate sacrifice for the safety of the sovereign colonies that we have sworn to protect. We understand we cannot expect 100% compliance. Therefore, the military arm of this final quarantine campaign will divide into three tiers of soldiers on sweep and cleanse duty. The first crew disables all vehicles. The next takes census of the personnel who have obeyed the order and provides assistance to those who have not. The last destroys all data, records, and communication structures on Tau Volantis and in orbit. At the end of these tasks, each group will consider their mission objectives complete and proceed to self-terminate. God bless the Sovereign Colonies, and may he have mercy on us all. If you are watching this film, it means despite our every precaution... Yeah, that's not gonna happen. I'm not interested in that. Sacrifice for the safety of the Sovereign Colonies that we have sworn to And what's this? Another text I see? Therefore, the military arm of this final court... Uh... Hold on, let me go back. The first crew disables all vehicles. The next takes census of the personnel who destroys all data, records, and communication structures. All right, let's see what's in here. Crazy government nowadays. Another repeater. Of course. If you are watching this film, it means despite our every precaution, containment has become a necessity. It is now up to us to make the ultimate sacrifice the sovereign colonies that we have sworn to protect. Yeah, yeah. Another text, of course. Final quarantine campaign will divide into three tiers of soldiers and sleeping class. Okay. Disables all vehicles. The next takes census of the personnel who obeyed the order and provides. And this one is moving out of here. Don't want to be a part of it, because, like you said, there's no 100% compliance to this. Oh great! More crates, which means more stalkers. Wait, wasn't it a bit brighter the other moment? I uh, can't tell. Of course, these guys are here. Like, uh, I knew it. Come on, I dare you. Gotta hurry up. Hopefully they won't attack me. Ooh, that was a close one. <laughs> of course they did. Where are you? I got you. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hopefully that's the last of them. Alright. Let me just get some stuff here and there before I move on. And this area is off limits. Let's go on this part. Hold on for a sec. Let me pl place he. Oh man, I really can't speak. Let me place this guy here. Then I can move on. And we got another achievement. Metal detector. Metal detector. I'm already losing my speech. NXO2 site. Let's just go in here and do the thing over. Mm hmm. -hmm. Simple as that. Now let's get what we need. Whoa. Uh, hey guys. Whatever they were experimenting on here, it looks like it got up and took half the warehouse with it. Oh no! What about the sensor parts? Three pieces, right? Well, it's a long shot, but I'll take a look around. Of course it's a long shot. So somewhere the pieces are around... here, or there. Let's try to get this squared away. And there's something up there. Down there, excuse me. I'm getting that mixed up. Let me check there first. Doesn't seem that much. And I have a feeling that Something is about to hit the fan. More stuff. And we found one of the pieces. That's nice. That's good. There's another piece. Also nice. And there's one more piece somewhere. Down there. Crane. So let's head back and use the crane to pull it up that we just saw earlier. There it is. So pull it up from here and there's the crane there we go now let's head back down see if we can find it or if it's there <laughs> obviously it is and there it is. 
Okay, Santos. I think I've got all the parts for the sensor. Excellent. Do you think you can reconstruct it? I just need to find a bench and call up the blueprint. It shouldn't be too difficult. So let's go find a bench and make it. Hopefully that thing that just burst out of the vent is just for a scare. All right, let's have some real fun making this thing, or finding it. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. Oh great, you again. So we have another rematch with this guy. Come on. You know what, let me just take care of this guy with stasis. There we go. If this planet doesn't kill us first, we'll find it. I'll be back soon. Hey, anyone been out to check the armory? No. Why? Oh, shit. That's what I thought. 
Someone left a trail of flares and they're still burning. Oh, God. You don't think Danik and his men are... We're gonna find out. Well, that was pretty fun. Looks like we found a objective, optional mission, and that is go to the armory. All right, so let's just go in. We'll take our time with the fixing the weapon later. Let's just get over there, see what it, we can find. And it took me about, I don't know how long, several tries to kill that crap thing. Ah, oh, man. I really did not like that part at all. Let's see what we got here. Another BS about me from Danik. Well, we got the bench, so let's see what we can do. See if we can do the probe thing. There it is. other thing. There we go. Check the blueprint. Yeah, I need to get my armor, ammo, excuse me. That's good for now. Oh, great, he's here too. Can't get a break, can I? But at least he made it out safe. Right, looks like I'm gonna have to call it a day. Sorry for not trying to be talkative like always. And of course, I gotta try better next time facing stronger enemies like that crap thing. But thank you for watching this. If there's anything that you like, be sure to give a thumbs up to it, comment below, and like always, subscribe. So until then, I will see you again in the next video.